In this video, I'll explain how to use Git in IntelliJ for beginners. This will be a brief yet comprehensive guide, as the following commands will probably be 90% of the commands you'll ever execute in Git. Before moving on to the commands, let's quickly cover some basic Git terms. Repository. A repository is where you store your project's code online. GitHub is widely used by beginners and experts to host their repositories for free. Git clone. In order to download a repository to your personal or local computer to use or edit the code, you need to git clone it. Remote. Remote is used to describe what's in your repository online. Branch. A repository can have many branches. Usually, there is one main branch called main or master. When you want to make changes in your main branch, you should create a new branch and then merge it to the main branch, usually using a pull request. Okay, now for the commands. The order of the commands shown is as you should use them. git pull. This git command downloads the changes from the remote repository to your local computer. You should use it whenever the branch you're working on was updated by someone else, or sometimes by you from another computer. This command will update your current local branch with the latest changes from a remote branch. For example, in this menu, we can see that I can pull from the remote main branch to my local main branch. Before you pull, you should verify two things. What is your current local branch, as this branch will be updated, and what is the remote branch you are pulling from. Usually, you should pull from the remote main branch to your local branch, but you can also pull from another remote branch. For example, I can choose the remote branch feature one. 95% of the times that you would pull, it would be from the main remote branch in order to get the latest updates in your code repository. Create a new branch and git checkout. At the bottom right corner, you can see the current local branch you're working on. If you click on it, a pop-up menu opens. In this menu, you can see all of your local branches and remote branches. You can switch between them easily. Select a branch and then select checkout. Checkout in Git means switch branches. When you create a new branch, the starting point of the code in this new branch is the code in your current local branch. Now, let's create a new branch. You should always create a new branch when you want to add, edit, or delete code. Usually, when you create a new branch, you want to switch to that branch. Therefore, you check out to this branch. So, let's create a new branch called My Awesome Feature. Note now that the name of the branch at the bottom right corner is the new branch I just created. You can also delete branches. Click on any other branch than your current one and then select Delete. Useful advices. Usually, you should create a new branch from the main branch. Before creating a new branch from the main branch, make sure you pulled from the remote main branch to your local main branch to get the latest changes in the repository. Start the branches that you're currently working on. And last one, delete local branches that you don't need anymore. Git commit. In the left side of the window, you can find the commit menu. In this menu, you can find all of the code changes you made. In order to make a code change count, you have to commit it. Check all of the files you want to commit, then provide a meaningful commit message. Try not to pass 50 characters. Then select commit. If you want to upload these changes to a matching remote branch, select commit and push. Useful advice. Experienced programmers make several commits in their branches, not just one single commit. Keep that in mind. Git push. If you have commits on your local computer that you want to upload to a matching remote branch in the remote repository, select git and then push. Git merge. Usually, when you host a remote repository on GitHub, you should merge code to the main branch through pull requests. What are pull requests? After you push your commits to a remote branch, you can create a new pull request. 
In a pull request, you can review your changes, ask someone to review them, have a discussion, and eventually merge the changes to the main branch. But what if you want to update your current local branch with changes made in another branch? For example, changes made in the main branch. Select Git and then Merge. Then select the branch you want to merge into your current local branch. For example, Main. Most likely you'll have to first pull the changes from a remote branch to the matching local branch and then merge them to your current local branch, meaning the branch you are currently working on. Git pull can also fetch changes from a remote branch and merge them to your current local branch, meaning you don't have to switch any branches. 90% of merges should not have any conflicts. If there are, a helpful menu will open to help you choose the result you want and resolve the conflict. And that's it. These five git commands, git pull, git checkout, git commit, git push, and git merge are the five git commands you'll use the most. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.